They say silence is golden, but if you own an orange cat, you know that silence is actually suspicious. And golden usually means your ginger cat just knocked over a vase. You have seen the viral memes about the one orange brain cell. The internet legend claims that all orange tabby cats share a single brain cell, making their personality chaotic, clumsy, and completely crazy. But is this just a funny joke? Or do orange cat genetics actually prove they are wired differently than other cats? In this video, we are digging into the science of cat behavior to reveal the truth. We will analyze the psychology behind their madness to find out if they are actually geniuses in disguise. If you have a red tabby, or you're thinking of getting one, get ready. We are about to decode the 10 scientific secrets of your orange cat. We will look at why they have black spots on their lips, why they scream at you, and why that stupidity might actually be a survival superpower. Fact number one, the Viking gender bias. First, let's look at the numbers. If you see an orange cat walking down the street, you can bet money that it's a boy and you will likely win. Statistically speaking, there is an 80% chance you are looking at a male. This isn't a coincidence, it's a genetic law. The gene that produces the orange color, known as the O gene, is carried strictly on the X chromosome. Here is the high school biology refresher. Females have two X chromosomes, XX, and males have one X and one Y, XY. For a female cat to be orange, she needs the orange gene on both of her X chromosomes. That's a difficult role of the genetic dice. For a male, he only has one X. If that one X carries the orange gene, boom, he is orange. There is no backup gene to dilute it. Why does this matter for their personality? Because in the animal kingdom, male behavior is often driven by a biological need to be bold, to take risks, and to compete for territory. They are the Vikings of the cat world. That daring jump they missed, that wasn't stupidity. That was high testosterone confidence. Evolution designed them to be risk takers to ensure their genes survive. So when your cat tries to fight a ceiling fan, he's not being dumb. He's being a brave biological warrior. He just missed. Fact number two, the rare unicorns, the 20%. But what about that other 20%? What if you have a female orange cat? If you do, you are living with a genetic unicorn. These cats are special. To exist, they needed an orange father and a mother who was either orange or calico. They defied the odds. Veterinarians and breeders often report that orange females have a distinct spicy personality. While the males are often described as dopey and laid back, orange females tend to be sharper, more assertive and highly intelligent. They have to be. In a world of aggressive males, the orange female had to be tougher to survive. If you have an orange girl, treat her with respect. She is the true queen of the castle. Fact number three, the chemical of chaos, pheomelanin. Now, let's talk chemistry. The specific pigment that gives their fur that stunning marmalade color is called pheomelanin. It's the exact same pigment found in humans with red hair. And just like we have stereotypes about fiery redheads in humans having quick tempers or high energy, science suggests there might be a link between this pigment and the cat's neurology. The synthesis of pheomelanin shares a biological pathway with dopamine, the neurotransmitter of reward and pleasure. The working theory among some ethologists is that orange cats might have a slightly different chemical feedback loop they seek stimulation more aggressively. They don't just want to play, they need to engage. This explains the zoomies at 3 a.m. It explains why they can't sit still when you're working. They are chemically hardwired for enthusiasm. They aren't crazy. They are just living life at maximum volume. Fact number four, the mystery of the black spots. If your orange cat is getting older, you might have noticed something that terrified you little black spots appearing on their nose, their lips, or the rims of their eyes. Many owners rush to the vet thinking it's cancer or dirt that won't wash off. Relax. This is a condition called lentigo simplex, 
and it is exclusive to orange cream and calico cats. Think of them as cat freckles. It is a genetic condition where the epidermal melanocytes produce more melanin than the surrounding skin. They usually start appearing around age one or two and can increase as the cat ages. They are completely harmless. They don't itch, they don't hurt, and they aren't cancer. They are just beauty marks. It's the universe's way of adding a little punctuation to their orange sentence. So if your cat looks like they have dirt on their nose, don't scrub it. It's just part of their charm. Fact number five, the Velcro phenomenon. While a gray cat might watch you from a distance and a black cat might be a silent shadow, orange cats have a reputation for being aggressively affectionate. They are often described as Velcro cats. A study published in the journal Anthrozoos surveyed cat owners and found that orange cats were consistently rated as friendlier and more affectionate than other colors. But why? It goes back to the gender bias. Male cats, especially those neutered early, often retain a kitten-like demeanor for life. They never fully grow out of the I need my mom phase. And guess who mom is? You. If your orange cat headbutts you with enough force to bruise you or insists on sitting on your keyboard while you type, that is their specific love language. They don't understand personal space because, to them, you are just a giant, hairless orange cat. You are part of the pile. Fact number six, the vocal manipulation. Is your house quiet? Not if you have an orange cat. Anecdotal evidence from shelters and owners overwhelmingly suggests that orange cats are the most vocal of all tabies. They don't just meow, they chirp, they trill, and they scream. But pay attention to how they sound. They seem to have mastered a frequency that humans find impossible to ignore. It mimics the distress cry of a human infant. This isn't accidental. This is manipulation. Because they are high energy and high metabolism creatures, which we will get to in a second, they have learned that being loud equals getting attention. They are the squeaky wheel that gets the grease. Or in this case, the squeaky cat that gets the tuna. Fact number seven, the four patterns of orange. We keep calling them orange cats, but orange isn't a breed. It's a color. The pattern is called tabby. And did you know there are four distinct types of orange tabby coats? Knowing which one you have is key to understanding their beauty. First, the mackerel tabby. This is the most common. They have narrow stripes running down their sides like the ribs of a fish skeleton. These are the tiger cats. Second, the classic tabby. These cats have bold, swirling patterns on their sides, like a marble cake or a bullseye. This is often called the blotched pattern. Third, the spotted tabby. Instead of stripes, the gene breaks the pattern into spots, making them look like tiny leopards. And finally, the ticked tabby. This is the rarest. They don't have stripes on their body, only on their face and tail. Their coat looks like sand, giving them a wild desert lion look, common in Abyssinians. Go look at your cat right now. Which masterpiece are they wearing? Fact number eight, the Garfield effect. We can't talk about orange cats without talking about food. The stereotype of the fat, lasagna-loving cat isn't entirely fiction. Because orange cats are predominantly male, and male cats are generally larger than females, a trait called sexual dimorphism, they have higher caloric needs. They burn brighter, so they need more fuel. However, this biological drive often lacks an off switch. In the wild, a large male cat needs to eat as much as possible when food is available to maintain his muscle mass for territory defense. In your apartment, there are no territory wars, but the instinct remains. Owners frequently report that their orange cats are the most vocal when the food bowl is half empty. They aren't just greedy. Their biology is screaming at them to fuel up for their next great battle, even if that battle is just chasing a dust bunny. Fact number nine. The mark of the M. Look closely at your orange cat's forehead. You will see a distinct M marking. This is the hallmark of the tabby pattern. Legends say the M stands for religious figures like Mary or Muhammad who bless the cat. Others say it stands for Mao, the ancient Egyptian word for cat. 
but biologically, it marks them as the direct descendants of the wild ancestors, the African wildcat. This pattern is camouflage. In high grass and dappled sunlight, those stripes and that orange-brown hue make the cat invisible. But here is the twist. In a modern home, that camouflage is useless. An orange cat on a white sofa is a neon sign. Since they can't hide, they developed a different survival strategy. Personality. They survived history not by being invisible, but by being irresistible. They evolved to be the center of attention. They don't need to hunt in the grass because they have trained you to open the can. That's not stupidity. That is strategic genius. Fact number 10. Icons of history. Perhaps because of this distinct personality, orange cats have dominated history and pop culture more than any other color. Winston Churchill, the man who led Britain through W2, had a beloved orange cat named Jock. He loved Jock so much that he made it a written condition in his will that there must always be an orange cat named Jock living at his Chartwell estate. From Orangey, the cat in Breakfast at Tiffany's, who won two Patsy Awards, the Animal Oscars, to Morris the Cat, to Garfield. The world has always been fascinated by them. When you own an orange cat, you aren't just owning a pet. You are keeping company with a lineage of celebrities. You are living with a star who knows he is a star. The Sunshine Soul So, let's go back to the original question. Are they geniuses or are they crazy? Maybe they are a bit of both. The truth is, the one orange brain cell meme, while hilarious, misses the point. We don't love them because they are smart. We don't love them because they are graceful. We love them because they are pure, unfiltered joy. In a world that can be serious, grey and stressful, the orange cat is a splash of vibrant colour. They act before they think. They love without hesitation. They fall off the sofa so you can smile. They scream at 4 a.m. so you don't feel lonely. They aren't broken. They are the sunshine that you can pet. If you are lucky enough to be chosen by an orange cat, you know exactly what I mean. You haven't just found a pet. You have found a chaotic, loving, hungry soulmate. Now I want to hear from you. We need to build a database of the chaos. In the comments below, tell me. What is the most orange cat thing your feline has ever done? Did they get stuck in a box? Did they fight their own tail and lose? Or do they have the magical black freckles? Drop your story in the comments. Let's prove that while they might share one brain cell, they have the biggest hearts in the world. Don't forget to smash that like button to pay respect to the Orange Army and subscribe for more deep dives into the minds of our pets. See you in the next one.